So, I'm not really gonna talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't wanna give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on. Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. Hey, soon-to-be Hall of Famers. It's my old tag partner. That didn't last very long, did it? Unfortunately, no. I just wanted to say that I am so excited and honored to induct you tonight. We wouldn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, Undertaker would have been pretty cool. Or President Rock. He actually texted us today. Check it out. Can you please stop insulting Rhonda before she snaps your arm off? It's fine. Oh, now I can't find the text. Please tell me I didn't accidentally delete it. Rhonda's the perfect person to induct us. She and I had some intense battles when I first got into WWE. Especially that Money in the Bank match with the arm bar on top of the ladder. I am definitely going to mention that tonight. And I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president self-destruct? Like, for security reasons? I don't know about that. Oh, I almost forgot. This was on your door. See you out there soon. What is it? It's a note from my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're going to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Wow, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I'd, I'd given up hope. But now I'm finally going to meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. Are you sure it's not some kind of misunderstanding? It has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No, you can't do this. What's there to talk about? They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? That's like your third plate. Are you sure you don't have a tapeworm? It's just the food here at Raw is so much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Do you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. Mm. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are reasons other than the food that I'd like to join you here on Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds mm. here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll do that right now. And by the time I'm done, dessert should be out. Sure, I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena! Finally, you all have a champion you can be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, I plan on enjoying the view for a very, very long time.
In fact, our GM, Randy Orton, might not like me saying this, but I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes. For the next 500 episodes, this is all you will see. Me in this ring holding this championship. Guys, are you seeing this? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Not the reaction I was expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. Are you kidding me? Uh, I saw him visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. Come on, Joe, you're giving him what he wants. This guy craves the spotlight. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure this is going to end well for Trey. Do you think I'm some kind of joke? No, no, not at all. Shut your mouth before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering and my stomach's killing me. You mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> sure. I didn't get to properly introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe. The man who's going to choke the life out of you. We have an impromptu Universal Championship match coming up next. I think it's going to be more of a slaughter than a match. I'm afraid you're right, Corey. We've seen Trey do some great things in NXT, but I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially with no time to prepare. Yeah, well, it's too late now. This is happening, and I can't wait. I don't think this is going to last very long. Unfortunately, I have to agree. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Great agility there. Whoa, not so fast. Samoa Joe locks in the Coquina Clutch. Told you it wasn't going to last very long. Wait a second. Trey counters. Joe's shoulders are down on the mat. He did it. Win the new Universal Champion. Trey just pulled off one of the biggest upsets this isn't over in yet. WWE history. I guess I was still right about it not lasting long, but this is unbelievable. All hell is broken loose on Raw, and we have a NXT superstar who just won the Universal Championship. This is unprecedented. What happens next? Other than Trey running for his life, I have no idea. 